Hi, this is Jake uh, doing another Let's Play of uh, Assassin's Creed. This is part two, and yeah. <laughs> it's going to be a little bit shorter than the other one. It's only going to be like, uh, it's, it's not going to be like 16 minutes. It's only going to be like <clears throat> six minutes maybe, just so I can get a little bit more done. I don't know how long each, each of these are going to be, but... Still. Heretic! Huh. Lay down what you have stolen from me! Uh. You've no claim to it, Robert. Take yourself from here before I'm forced to thin your ranks further. You Maybe. play a dangerous game! I assure you, this is no game. Cow. So be it! Bring forth the hostage! Your village lays in ruins, and your stores are hardly endless. How long before your fortress crumbles from within? How disciplined really will your men remain when the wells run dry and their food is gone? My men do not fear death, Robert. They welcome it, and the rewards it brings. <laughs> and they shall have it all around. Follow me, and do so without hesitation. Show this fool knight what it is to have no fear. Go to God! Okay. <laughs> I, ah, oh, oh, my leg! Ah, oh, my leg! Quiet, or the Templars will hear us. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. What do I do? I'll stay behind and tend to him. You'll have to go ahead without us. The ropes there will bring you to a trap we've set. Go and release it. Rain death upon our enemies. I have no idea. Wait, does that mean? Yeah, it's being right there, so I noticed the beam. It suck if this thing just broke in the middle of walking. You too. Oh, whoa! Holy crap, that was close. Thank you. Isn't he going across? <laughs> you that chicken? <laughs> I thought he was. Look at balance, I gotta admit. They must have been training forever. Sorry if I have it, but it's really long. Well, oh, shit. Well, that sucks. Oh, I'll figure it out. Didn't even do it again. Okay, no more running quicker. Just gonna do it with one hand. You're not dead? How is 
something like that. That's insane. I'm really bad at this game. <laughs> Anyway, so they're not going to be climbing. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. Up. Up. Yeah. Up. There we go. There we go. Now, is that so hard? And I'm back up. To a more recent one. You did well to drive Robert from here. His force is broken. Nice. It shall be a long while before he troubles us again. Tell me. Do you know why it is you are successful? <laughs> you listened. Were it that you'd listened in Solomon's temple, Altair, all of this would have been avoided. I did as I was asked. No, you did as you pleased. Malik has told me of the arrogance you displayed, your disregard for our ways. What are you doing? There are rules. We are nothing if we do not abide by the Assassin's Creed. Three simple tenets, which you seem to forget. I will remind you. First and foremost, okay. stay your blade. From the flesh of an innocent, I know. And stay your tongue, unless I give you leave to use it. If you are so familiar with this tenet, then why did you kill the old man inside the temple? He was innocent. He did not need to die. Your insolence knows no bounds. Make humble your heart, child. Oh, yeah, I killed or I swear I'll tear it from you with my own hands. The second tenet is that which gives us strength. Hide in plain sight. Let the people mask you such that you become one with the crowd. Do you remember? Because as I hear it, you chose to expose yourself, drawing attention before you'd struck. The third and final tenet, the worst of all your betrayals. Never compromise the Brotherhood. Its meaning should be obvious. Your actions must never bring harm upon us, direct or indirect. Yet your selfish act beneath Jerusalem placed us all in danger. Worse still, you brought the enemy to our home. Every man we've lost today was lost because of you. I am sorry. Truly I am. But I cannot abide a traitor. I am not a traitor. Your actions indicate otherwise. And so you leave me no choice. Peace be upon you, Altair. Wow. WGF moment or something. He's experiencing a far better adoption rate than the other subjects. I'm still pulling him out. He's been in there way too long. No, not yet. We're still so far from where we need to be. We shouldn't risk it. What's another hour or two? Why don't we discuss this in the conference room? Give Desmond a minute to stretch his legs. I, I really don't see point. Point. Warren, please. Well, um... Fine. I'll put the cutscene in, then I'll probably make it. Be a good time. Now I get to stretch my human legs. Oh, cool. I'm actually surprised he's able to walk. Just can't go through doors. Hmm. 
what am I supposed to do? Just wait. Hmm. Ah, place. Well, um, it's not cutscene like I thought. Anyway, are they ever going to, uh, let me come in? Oh, the door. Are you kidding me? Wow. Kind of funny. Hmm. Definitely different. Where am I interacting with? That's what this book. And... Man, I can't even change my clothes. That sucks. So what the hell can I do? <clears throat> Where am I being able to open a door? The doors are hard. No, I feel like Oh, they don't squabble, yeah. Finally. Took them that long. Holy. We're done for today, Yay. Mr. Miles. I suggest you return to your room and Jeez. get some rest. Well, now the door is open. Oh, wow, that sucks. Damn it, they locked the door. Well, I think this would be a good time to end this um, playthrough, so. Anyway, this is the second Let's Play of Assassin's Creed, and I hope you enjoyed it, and there'll be more coming. Thank you. And subscribe.